Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the print drivers for a Rico Afika SP3400N Now, as you might figure out why are you doing a video on print drivers, wouldn't you just use the installation disk that came with the printer? Normally, yes if it works, but this disk does not as I will now demonstrate to you. So we put the disk in, run the setup.exe, yes to any user account control options that pop up, and select your language, mine's English, and the one we want is the PCL6 printer driver. And as you can see, as we go through this installation, we need to accept the agreement, choose the printer we're on about, it's using a USB cable and 3400N like I said and it is off and disconnected so as it runs it goes but then it fails at 60% because it fails to add the language monitor error code 19 so let's just get rid of that so these two we can actually use the disk to install these but we're not going to do that at the minute so we're going to press exit now to download the PCL6 driver, we can either do it two ways. We can either go to computer, into the disk, into drivers, PCL6, all through this, disk one, and get it this way. But we don't know the age of the files that are on here. So what's best to do, plus it's very complicated to go through all that just to get these files. What we can do is go to the Rico support website, which to get to that, you go to your local Rico webpage, which for me is rico.co.uk. Then I went on downloads and office product downloads, which then redirected me to this European support website. So, I'll just go back to show you. You again choose the language you need and your operating system, which basically takes you through all these. But these are the ones I want, which is Windows 7 64 bit. And I want the PCL6 driver. Now, I've already downloaded this, it takes a couple of seconds, but I've done it for efficiency basically. So once we've got that, we can either close or minimize our web browser. I'm going to minimize it. And we want to find it in our location where it's downloaded. Now for me, this is in my downloads folder. And this is it. It's a WinZip file. Now it's going to ask me where I want to basically unzip these files to. So I don't want it to go to the default location that it specifies. I want to put it in this folder. So I've gone ahead and created this folder and just simply named it Rico PCL6. So let's double click on the PCL6 EXE and as you can see it's come with the unzip to folder and then that's in a temp location. I want to change that as I said. So we go to our username and then find the folder where you want it to go. And then unzip and that's successfully unzipped we can close that. So if we now go into here, we can see that we have the files that we needed. And as you can see, some of them have been a bit more updated compared to the ones that were on the actual disk. So let's close this. What we need to do is add this printer the Windows way. Yes, a bit long winded, but it actually works. So we need to go to the control panel. We can either go through add device, or we can just click on the category of hardware and sound. And then we can either do add a printer or go into devices and printers. So I'm going to do that. And at the top, I'm going to add a printer. It's going to be a local printer. And we want to use an existing port, but we want to choose a USB virtual port. And because I know 
that USB 001 is already in use with another one of my printers, I'm going to pick USB 002. Then I'm going to click next. And it's I'm going to click on this have disk. Then we're going to browse to the location of the disk. Now for me it's already found it, which is good. But if it doesn't find it for you, what you need to do is again go to the location. So I'll start on here. Computer. Users. Your username. Downloads. And then here. Disk 1 and PCL xl.inf then ok then I'm going to click next and because I've already previously installed this printer just to check that this works I want to replace the current drive that's there so I'm going to click ok it's going to ask you what you want the name of the printer to be that is exactly fine so I know what it is and click next it's then going to ask you if you want to share this printer I do not so I'm going to click next. Now, to print the test page, basically need to have the printer turned on. So let's connect it with the USB cable and turn it on at the switch. It takes a couple of seconds to warm up. And I'm basically going to print a test page. And if you can hear that, it is printing. So it's given me a Windows printer test page and it says congratulations if you could read this information you have correctly installed your Rico Afico SP3400N PCL6 on your PC. The information below describes the printer driver and port settings. So the printer name and model is the Rico Afico SP3400N PCL6 doesn't support colour, it's a monochromic printer. Port name it's on is USB 002, which is a virtual USB port. And then it lists the driver name, data file, config file, help file and driver version. Also lists the environment, which is your operating system, and the monitor, which is the RCE 6AM language monitor, which would not install previously. So on this I can now click finish, and now we can actually go back to the installation disk yes close this down yep so I want to install the smart organizing monitor which basically lets me check the status of this printer from anywhere if it's networked or it'll basically act as the interface for the printer so my language is English I'm going to click next doesn't take that long to install. It's just going to ask me where I want to put these. All the default is fine. Just installing a few files and it's finished like that. So now that the Smart Organizing Monitor has installed, that's all I want to do with this. I don't want to install the PostScript 3 printer driver because I aren't going to be printing many images or printing with colour. The only thing I'm going to be printing is text and to be fair with the testing that I've done just with the PCL6 driver it works fine. So of course on this CD-ROM we have also got the printer manuals because there's no proper manual that comes with the information that you get with the printer and of course there's a readme so i'm finished with this now so with this windows test page what you want to do is go ahead and keep it with all your printer information so as you can see if you do have any issues with any of the rico printers simply head over to the rico support website and download the drivers from there and if you follow the processes in this video you shouldn't go far wrong my name is WolfTM2008, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video at all helpful and you want to see more videos like this in the future. Until next time guys, I shall see you later.